Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, with Johnny Wanru. Today we're going to talk about oligopolies, collusion, or cartel. So the definition of a cartel is a group of oligopolies firms gathering together to fix price and quantity, and the purpose is to maximize the industry profit. And in this clip, I'm going to show you mathematically why is that typically a cartel is not very stable meaning each firm has incentive to cheat on the cartel agreement. So here we have a simple example. In this industry, we have only two firms, firm one and firm two. Each of them produce quantity Y1 and Y2. So the industry profit is equal to the price, which is a function of Y1 and Y2, times industry quantity, minus the cost of firm one, minus the cost of firm two. To maximize the profit, we are going to take partial derivative of pi with respect to y1 and y2, and we set them equal to zero. Due to the space limit, I'm only going to show you partial pi, partial y1. So here, we use the product rule to take derivative of the revenue. So here we have two terms, that's for the product rule. Minus partial c, partial y1 is just the marginal cost of firm 1. And we set it equal to zero to find y1 star, y2 star. And next, I am going to multiply out this term and everything else is going to remain the same. We have partial p, partial y1 times y1 and partial p, partial y1 times y2 here. Everything else remains the same. And next, I'm going to move this term to the right hand side. And when I move it to the right hand side, I have to add a negative sign. Notice that partial p, partial y1 is negative due to the law of demand. So this is negative, negative times negative is positive. So we know that the three terms adding them up is positive. And notice that these three terms adding them up is actually the marginal profit of firm 1 after the two firms achieve the cartel. How do I know that? So the profit of firm 1 is the price times the quantity of firm 1 minus the total cost of firm 1. And taking partial derivative of profit with respect to y1, then you get, again, I'm using product rule here. So that would be the price plus partial p partial y1 minus the marginal cost of firm 1. Notice that these three terms are exactly the three terms here. And we have proved that this marginal profit of firm 1 after we achieve the cartel is positive. What does that mean? That means after we achieve a cartel, firm 1 has an incentive to produce just a little bit more that will increase the profit of firm 1, given that firm 2 sticks to the cartel agreement. And notice that firm 2 is thinking about exactly the same thing. After they achieve an agreement, Firm 2 also has an incentive to increase the quantity. Now, due to the law of demand, we know that if both firms are increasing the quantity, then the price is going to go down. Then the cartel breaks down. So here's a reason why typically a cartel is not very stable unless you have a punishment against cheating. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.